Whether it's Barbara Streisand singing the way we were, or Carly Simon singing Nobody Does It Better, or a group of Broadway hopefuls belting out uh, What I Did For Love, the man behind the music is composer Marvin Hamlish, and he is here at, uh, performing at the North Shore Music Theater. That's right. And you have won so many Grammy Awards, uh, Academy Awards, three in one night, as a matter of fact, right? That's right. How are you? I'm okay. I'm a little tired at this moment because I just came up here. You know, I just flew up. You know, but uh, I'm raring to go for tonight. I'm raring to go for tomorrow night. But you've got a big project going on in Baltimore. We have a big project about to start. It's called Smile, which is our new uh, Broadway show. It's my third Broadway show. What's it about? What's it about? It's about beauty pageants. In fact, I'm rehearsing with 16 lovely girls, all between the ages of 17 and 20. So it's what are you a, doing here, Marvin? I don't know. I'm still working this out. You know, I left them in leotards. I remember them in leotards saying, don't go, don't go. But I'm, you know, I'm here. You mean there might be a little ladies' man behind this composer? Hey, right? why not? You know what I mean? But it's, it's a very exciting, you know, doing a show about, uh, in fact, about pageants. It's very exciting. We've just had the Miss America pageant, right. so it's very timely. And we open in Baltimore, let's see, in about a week, and then we open in New York November 20th. Are you putting them down? Is it a parody? Is no, it it's a not a parody. It's not a satire, and it's not a spoof. Thank you very much. We'll be back. No, <laughs> it's, it's straight ahead. What goes into this composing? I mean, do you work at it constantly, or do you just get a whim for a project and go with it then and then leave it for a while? Well, you know, I tell you the truth. On a television show, I feel it's wrong for me, because I don't want to come off egotistical, you know? I think it's wrong for me to go over and discuss the music that I write, because I think it's not the kind of... I can't believe it. This was written by me. Yes, tonight. Oh, sorry. I'm selling. I'm always selling. I'm it always is tonight selling. and tomorrow night. I know I'm everybody's saying, selling. oh, well, how can I go? I'm on the, I'm on the shuttle this morning, right? I know. You get up at 5.30. I say, anybody around here going to North Shore, hello, hello. I'm selling <laughs> wherever I go. It's uh, ridiculous, you know? You were 16 when you wrote your first hit. Yes. 16 years old. It was for Leslie Gore. Do we all remember Leslie we Gore? We all remember Leslie Gore. In a, in a motion picture called uh, something like either Beach Party Blanket or Beach Party Bikini. I'm not sure. It's a trivia question these days. But it went. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. Always bright, brighter than a lucky penny. When you're near, the rain goes, disappears, dear, and I feel so fine. Just to know that you are mine. Let's take a look at the tote board. Let's see how much we've raised. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 32,000. It's been a lot. You know, I've been doing too much. Are you? I'm a little bit, it's a little bit, do you know the word? I don't know if you would know this word. There's a word called fredrate. No, I don't know that word. I didn't think you would. Anyway, you know, the Jewish press is... Tom really knows that, that word. I don't. He would know that word, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, yes, it means a little bit, you know, a little bit sugar, a little nuts. You know, things, things are happening. There's a lot going on. This is not a quiet time in my life. Do you have to be a little nuts to stay in this business? I think what you have to be is, I think you have to have a lot of tenacity. I think what happens, truthfully, is that you get a lot of knocks. I mean, I think people, for instance, today assume that everything's just wonderful for me. That, you know... What, what is wonderful is accessibility. I can get to people. I can try to get a show on. Nothing says it's going to be a hit. Nothing says it's going to be an easy road. So I think you have to be very tenacious. In fact, this show, Smile, that I'm working on, a lot of people told me all the reasons why not to do it. Mm. You know, and I've been working on this for four years. You and yeah, I, the so. last time you were up here, we talked a lot about your mom. Yes, and right. she was alive and you lost her four right. and a half years exactly ago. Exactly right. Uh, what was her favorite song? Written. My mother had a great line. I have to tell you, this is true. She did this on the Mike Douglas show approximately 12, I guess 11, 12 years ago when I brought my mother on the Mike Douglas show, okay? This was from Philadelphia, when he was still in Philadelphia. And Mike Douglas, very, very sweet man, says to her, so what's your favorite song and who's your favorite composer? Now, everyone's waiting because they all know it's gonna, she's going to say my sure. name. We're going to go to commercial. And everyone's going to go, ha, ha, ha. In front of that audience, she said, well, she said, because she's from Vienna, so she was like, well, she said, I really like George Gershwin the best. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, I can't believe this. We've just plugged her recipe. We're plugging my thing. And all of a sudden, you know, I really like George Gershwin. And in fact, from all the songs from Gershwin, personally, I liked very much. And then she starts doing a whole Gershwin thing. You know what I mean? Aww. So what can I tell you? She I mean, was a she, great influence. She was my favorite she? mother, but yeah. hey, I mean, who had choices? I didn't know <laughs> George Gershwin's mother. She could have been terrific. I don't know, you know? A chorus line. Ah! This has now become my doorbell. This. <laughs> yes, he's in. 
first line has a nice song in it right now. What I did for love. In fact, it's very exciting right now because first line has become has just turned 12 years old. And we talked about it and said that if, if we go one more year, it's going to have its own bar mitzvah. The only show in history that actually have a bar mitzvah. <laughs> Today I have a show. You know what I mean? Yes, so we're excited. I'd love to go to that party. It, it should be fun, right? <laughs> It it's never had a bris. I'm very nervous about the show. But, uh, you know, anyway. By the way, I love working on a, on a piano with a mirror. It's so Tom, exciting. You, Tom's falling out over there. It is so gone. exciting to work with a piano with a mirror because, you know, what? like, while you're playing. You can watch your hands. Not only that, but you can check your tie. Yeah. It's so exciting. You know, it's just so wonderful. You can check if the shoes look nice. It's wonderful. Yes. Uh, April 2nd, 19th. I take this seriously. Like, I know. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Hey, ooh. <laughs> yes, April what? April 2nd, 1974, you get up on a stage three times. Yes, Oscars. And you win Oscars for The Sting and The Way We Were. Yes. It was very exciting. You know, I tell you the truth, it was funny. I was with my father, and my mother was in the audience, but I was with my father when we finished the Oscars. And I said to him, to show you how crazy you get about awards, which I'm not anymore. Now, I realize it's wonderful to have awards, but the whole trick of it all is just to do good work. I mean, you know. Uh, I said to him, wouldn't it have been ironic if, let's say, I had won the Oscar for The Sting, for mm -hmm. which I adapted the music of Scott Joplin, right? I said, let's say I'd won that, and I hadn't won for the way we were. I said, I wonder if I'd be happy. Here I'd be this Oscar winner with an Oscar saying, yeah, but they didn't love my music. They didn't go for what, what yeah. I wrote. You know what I mean? And you got it all. So it was, it was very exciting. Mm. Yeah. Did you notice an interesting thing? A lot of people don't know this, but in the um, Sting, for which I adapted the music, right? And in the uh, Way We Were, for which I wrote the music, right? They both had, both pictures had the same male lead, which is Robert Redford, sure. right? Sure. I think it's amazing what my music has done for his career. I think so, <coughs> too, Marvin. The I man think was it's just nobody. incredible. The man was nothing. <laughs> nothing. The man, and I said to him, just here. Just a little. Take yeah. this. Be my guest. <laughs> I could have done it for Paul Newman, but let's face it. He's got a little thing. He's got syrup. He's selling everything. He's got popcorn. He's selling. <laughs> man's selling. Anything you eat is Paul Newman. Oh. I, had, I, had a, I had today, I had a brand muffin. <laughs> Paul Newman's brand muffin, whatever. It has nothing in it. Actual Yeah, but he air. gives it all to charity. He, Thank God. See? Okay. okay. We're talking about. Hold on a second. I want to check. You check your tie yeah. because we're talking about the way we work. I look good here. Well, I can't wait for Peter Nero to play this piano. Wow. <laughs> yeah, George Shearing loved it. Oh, of course. <laughs> Terrific. What, what do you want to do? Well, you asked me to do the way we were with you. I would you. love you to do the I way we were. I wish somebody told me this morning so I could have warmed up. If we up. do the way we were, I get money. You know what I mean? Everything, it's, it's a local station. We get about like $1.14, but it all comes. Do I get 10 cents? Sure, absolutely. I and like you know, of course, I'm performing tonight. You know about I that. I know you're performing tonight. There's a phone number. Let's go ahead and give it before we hey. do this song then. 922-8500. Yes. Tonight, 9228500. That's it. Wow. Did you get it? Yeah, sure. What is it? 9228500. That's it. And you can go to see me tonight or tonight tomorrow. Tonight or tomorrow. And night. if you don't want to see me, I did the best I North could. North Shore hey, Music you know? Theater. And you can throw out words from the audience That's and right. you will write songs we around make them. them. Songs. And the other thing we do, which is a lot of fun tonight, we're going to preview one of the songs from the new show called Smile. Great. So we're ready. You're going to do this do, now the this way is, I'd like to do this for oh, Tom. Sure. For, memory, who? for Tom Codlin, memory oh. of his mom. Oh, terrific. Okay. <laughs> Memories light the corners of my mind, misty watercolored memories of the way we were, scattered pictures of those smiles. We left behind smiles we gave to one another for the way we were. Can it be that it was all that simple then, or has time? chance to do it all again tell me would we could we memories may be beautiful and yet what's too painful to remember we simply choose to
Thank you very much.